warm welcome also from my side. Super excited to be here with you guys at Collision 2022. I have to tell you, that impression, that is what I was looking for over the last two years, right? With all the COVID pandemic happening, seeing so many people united in one room, it just feels great. So, like briefly introduced, I'm Hendrik, I'm Chief Product Officer of Team Beer, and now probably your first problem starts. Team Beer, you ask yourself, isn't Team Viewer the company that provides IT remote support and remote connectivity solutions? Um, I have to tell you, yes, that is Team Viewer. Team Viewer is the global leader for IT remote support and connectivity solution. We're deployed on more than two and a half billion devices out there in the field, and people support um, various different people and organizations with our products. But I also have to tell you, by looking at the title, why am I here? Because the Team Viewer product portfolio has expanded quite significantly over the last years. And now we're offering solutions and services that go clearly way beyond the IT support space. So, and with that, I think we jump right in and I tell you why today we're talking about the metaverse and the potential that resides in that metaverse. So let's jump right in and see. What is it all about, the metaverse? Well, the metaverse, you know all, certainly there is a lot of hype happening right now in the metaverse space. It is all over the tech industry. It is all over everywhere else. Um, so it goes clearly beyond the IT space nowadays. And it's probably also, to a certain extent, thanks to Facebook, right? With their decision rebranding the entire company to meta. Right, to really emphasize that they want to be, become a key player in the metaverse space. Um, but if you actually now think about the metaverse itself, the term is not new. Actually, it has been defined already back in 1992 uh, in a novel called Snow Crash, where the de definition was already about you know, the metaverse being a form of a virtual reality with digital representations of things, digital representations of humans. And the idea was that this is an extension and will become an extension of our life. It actually will become an extension probably more so of our social lives, right? And um, you probably now have pictures in mind like, um, like these, right? Asking yourself, isn't that around avatars? Isn't it about, you know, online collaboration experiences? Again, avatars sitting around one table, even though people physically being remote. Isn't that about virtual shopping experiences? Isn't that about virtual sightseeing without the necessity to really travel there? Just by putting on a pair of virtual reality smart glasses, you can be part of the, of the metaverse. You can go there, experience that. Cool stuff is happening in that space. But if you are now a business leader, and let's say you're a business leader res uh, responsible for more, let's say, an industrial type of a business, you probably ask yourself, is this metaverse something for me? Is there anything in it that can I derive for my business out of the metaverse? And my answer would be probably, this version of the metaverse is maybe not so much relevant for you, except if you are a retail store, obviously. Then you can build out your virtual experiences um, and benefit from virtual online shopping. But if you are an industrial leader, um, beyond that uh, classical um, retail business, then there is a reason why this is not so relevant for you. Because your business is all about humans. Your business is happening in reality. You have people that eventually, for example, in industrial processes, need their hands. They work on physical things. They, they clearly are grounded in reality and so are all their processes. All the industrial business processes are always and will always be anchored in the real world, right? 
So they are there. And these frontline workers that take care of all these process executions on the shop floors around the globe, this group of people is actually a massive group of people. In fact, 80% of the global workforce um, is working away from the desk, which we refer nowadays to as frontline workers. And now the question obviously um, arises, okay, if the metaverse is not something for me, are you then telling me that we're leaving behind almost 3 billion people, employees, when we're talking and building the metaverse? Is that really what's going to happen? And there's good news. No, that is not happening. Because there is a special version of the metaverse, which is the industrial metaverse for us. So what is now the industrial metaverse? What makes it different than the classical metaverse? It is kind of the mixture of how reality and virtual reality get blended into each other. The industrial metaverse takes more holistic approach. It still has the virtual world, but it in addition allows to include physical objects. Physical objects remain physical, even though there might be um, virtual representations. But in particular, it also includes the human. The physical human is going to be included in the metaverse space. And now the question is, for that version of the metaverse, how do we create it? How do we build that? How do we make that possible? And one of the key elements here is, again, one of the key elements, again, here is hardware, right? What is the enabling hardware? Similar to virtual reality headsets in a classical metaverse, again, the industrial version of it also relies on smart glasses. But it relies more on mixed reality, assistive reality type of smart glasses, like you can see here, a Microsoft HoloLens device, which is well known these days, or eventually a Google Glass device, which allows you to really extend reality it is not as immersive as a HoloLens device, but all these devices together um, have all the capabilities that you need in order to become a great work tool. They have compute, they have all the connectivity that you need, and they come also with very special characteristics. For example, you can put in individual correction lenses. So you can bring your own prescription lenses and put them into the smart glasses. Things that matter when you're talking about the industrial version of that space. Now, that being said, everything a lot um, capabilities, but by the end of the day, it is the software that unlocks the full potential of the industrial metaverse. It is the software that turns the hardware into a hands-free work tool that frontline workers can use while they are maintaining, for example, an aircraft engine with their hands on the machine. Um, it is the software that allows the workers to tap into digital information at real time, whenever and wherever they need it. And it's the software that allows organizations ultimately to reshape the way we work on the shop floor, thanks to metaverse technology, because we will be able to reshape processes. We will be able to improve process performance, so making processes faster, but we will also be able to significantly lower the error rates um, in those processes. So a lot of tangible business benefits you can get out as an organization from the industrial um, metaverse. And there is a lot of uh, success stories out there, so it is not fiction, it is reality. And um, Coca-Cola, for example, is one of these. Coca-Cola has already four years ago started on the industrial metaverse journey for them. They have deployed augmented reality solutions to help in the logistics centers, the frontline workers, to do order fulfillment better, meaning kind of faster, but at the same time being able to drive down error rates to almost zero a situation that has never been possible before. They ended up in a situation before jumping on the metaverse train that they couldn't keep up with the ever-increasing KPI targets that they were faced with. 
But there's also other industries, like for example, um, Audi, a car manufacturer. They are also part already today of the industrial metaverse. They are deploying mixed reality solutions um, using Microsoft HoloLens devices for their training experiences of new employees. And with that, they can, you know, stick annotations at the various different locations at the car and give super valuable, easy um, to understand information to new employees so that they could flatten out the learning curve to a maximum. A significant and game-changing result they are, they are getting out of deploying the industrial metaverse version here. And Certainly, this is a more immersive experience than the Coca-Cola example I gave you, but it shows you uh, the variety of different solutions out there that are possible in the industrial metaverse space and how tangible business benefits can be. And now the question is obviously, how could they start that early on? Remember, Coca-Cola already four years ago, long time before the big buzz around metaverse was actually happening. And the reason for that is actually that they were relying, for example, on products from TeamView, a product that is not as well known yet as our remote support tools. The product they are using in order to create their version of the industrial metaverse is called TeamView Frontline. And you can think about TeamView Frontline as a suite of solutions similar to a Microsoft Office, which allow you to tap into the potential of the industrial metaverse in logistics, in manufacturing, in field service, in training applications. And frontline ships with predefined solutions, easy to deploy, almost out of the box to be able to deploy so that you can tap into the metaverse space. And the good news here is, similar to Microsoft Office, it sits all on the same platform. No matter whether you know, the logistics department starts first in logistics, on the corporate level, you still have the same platform so that later on, for example, manufacturing or training departments can jump on the industrial metaverse train. Let's have a look at a quick video showing TeamViewer Frontline in action at various different customers. Like you can clearly see, um, the industrial metaverse is really here to stay and the frontline solution portfolio can really help organizations to tap and benefit from that. With that, I thank you for your attention. If you want to learn more of how you can be part of the industrial metaverse and how you can leverage the tangible benefits for your business, um, we're more than happy to talk to you. Um, please approach me directly, all the folks around the globe. We have global footprints around the globe at Team Viewer. So we really want to work together with you and really create a world that works better. Thank you so much. Have a great show.